Hello once again and we're going to do a product review on the Prodigy. No, this ain't a band, the Prodigy. This is a game called the Prodigy. Um, and it was an awful game. Don't know why I brought it back in the day. Maybe because it was very cheap. Probably the only reason why. Um, done by Electric Dream Software. Um, or MD Software it says there. And you can see once again it's got a black mark being because this was the Amstrad CPC version. Um, so we'll look at the cover. Not a lot going on there. Just a spaceman looking at a diamond. Mm. Nothing really much. And this is in a jewel case. So nothing really. Just see a barcode there. And it's in one of the old black cases. Not the see transpa transparent one. So let's have a look inside. Hmm, we get a big very big um, instruction manual here maybe I should do that but, uh, and what's this we are looking you are you look are you the bright spark we are looking for basically to program crappy games for electric dreams <laughs> no they made some good games um, I know they got a few arcade conversions licenses so, so once again, we see loading instructions for um, the acidic spectrum, the Amstrad CPC, and that's it. Obviously, this being an Amstrad version, and that's it, basically. That's the cover. And we see the tape, and you notice it says C64 on it, um, because this had a version. Um, I had this originally on the Amstrad and I think I acquired it on the Commodore 64. It might come with a compilation pack. So when I got my Commodore 64, I got rid of my a lot of my Amstrad tapes and obviously the Amstrad version got well the Amstrad didn't version didn't get wiped. The Commodore 64 version got on side one and on side B is the Amstrad CPC 464 version. So once again you get two different games, two different versions of the game on the Commodore 64 and Amstrad CPC. Oh, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Anyway, that matter. So that's the Prodigy on the Amstrad and Commodore. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.